Previously on Love and Marriage Huntsville. So toast to ownership. Ownership. When last time you talked to Mel? She said your friends were my ops, Martel. That's what she do though. Well, anybody that's in Mel's corner right now, they're do girls. G give it a little while longer, you won't be there either. Do you think you want to have any more children or no? It's an ongoing conversation. We've talked a few times about growing the Whitlows. You know, you're working a lot. How are we going to introduce the baby into the picture? He says, you don't really have time for me. I don't know what else Lewis Whitlow needs. Man, you know I had a little sexual frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I knew that my husband had that much of a problem with it, there could be real conversations that are had. Me and my wife, we've been doing uh, marriage retreats. And I got this crazy idea that I would like for you and your husband and some of your friends to come on a retreat with us. I'm for it. I just have to talk to my husband. We keep it moving all day, all night. Yeah. This is my first time. Oh, okay. They're new in Huntsville. So, you know, we have to try out all the places. Do you work out at all? Because Kimmy don't work out at all, so. What's up, what's up, what's up? Kimmy, what are you talking about here. you? <laughs> Nisha asked us to hang out again. I had no idea that the intent was to go rock climbing today. I am petrified of heights. This one's gonna test me. Uh, my name is Ben Wright. Welcome to High Point Climbing. We're glad you're here. Let's head on into the kids' room. Uh, I can talk a little bit about how to clip in. Okay. Cool. Face your fears. That's what they say. <laughs> I, I think I want that one. And this here is an awesome piece of machinery. It lets you climb up uh, without a partner belaying you. The machine at the top keeps the rope tight so that when you let go, you come down nice and slow. So we can now take the carabiner here that's on the red leash, twist the gate, open it, and then clip it through that green loop on your harness there. So the one that's on the leash. Oh, OK. Yep. The red, that, good. You can clip that carabiner in to the green loop as well. You're good to start climbing. I'm so nervous. The main trick is keeping the weight on your feet and then pressing up with your legs. You want to get as much contact with the wall as possible. This is not good with nails. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> you said to stay with the same colors, right? Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Go, Tiffany. <laughs> OK, now what? So you just let go and lean back before it feels like it's going to catch Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> you can just let go of the wall, and it'll catch you and bring you down. Yeah, no, I'm good. Like, I don't know where to put my foot. Use this green one right here. I can't see. That's what I said. Yeah, I was like, so proud of you. I know, she got so hot on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Try letting go from there. Yeah, no. so you could jump from there. That's <laughs> Listen, I'm sweating. That was a whole workout. I'm finished. <laughs> Good job, Kimmy. Wait, you're not <laughs> playing. I'm like almost in tears. And that's not fun. No, what is you doing? Yeah, you look so brave. No, you so I don't good. like it. Oh, you did so good. You did so good. Oh. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Hey, face <laughs> your fears. I figured because I'm an athlete, I could do it, but <laughs> I don't like it up there. Like my hands and my hands are shaking. You're shaking for real. I've always been fearful of heights. It's weird and I can't fix it, but I felt accomplished. I felt like I was able to actually face a fear, but I probably won't rock climb ever again. But consider it done. Look at that! Look at that Excuse wall. Me. That is <gasps> amazing. Oh! They would have to literally <laughs> pry me down from there. It's, it's nice. Huge! How about I just sit right here and watch it? <laughs> Listen, 
I'm so happy that you two came because, you know, we had a little rocky start, so I'm happy to see us, like, growing and forming something new. Oh, All okay. of us. I'm glad that you're including me. That's yes. Nice. yes. Fun, not shady fun. And the yes. weather's getting nicer, so we can do more outside yes. stuff. Yes, she's an outdoor girl. I mm -hmm. love yeah, to me do too. Outdoor. And that's I why I've even made the effort to do rock climbing, because physically I'm an athlete. I feel like that in my heart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the fear part, you got to get past that part to do the athleticism Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. So what's been going on with you? I was just about to say, the guys, Atlanta trip. Did you hear <laughs> what happened there? Uh, a party, girls in bottles. Strip club. Strip club. Rage room. Rage, rage room. Yeah. <laughs> the reason they were raging, I'm like. Did you hear the reason? Marceau was raging about Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis was raging because he doesn't have enough sex. I was so shocked when Marceau told me that. I'm I like, said, that's all Timmy really talk about. I said, I'm like, are you really addicted? to, like, pry him off the roof in Vegas. <laughs> right. I was like, you're too busy with work. You don't have time anymore. I'm like, I, I think he's telling his truth. Is that I his truth? I think guys feel like they never get enough when women feel like we're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, my response was really also like, are you filling me up, not with, <laughs> with things that I need? A lot of guys don't really get that part though, and you could say it ten times and they don't get the fill it's me up part. Fluid. Yeah, and it's not ever the same. It's in the car, it's outside. It's, I mean, it's whatever you want. Switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so. I have something else. <laughs> <laughs> Out the group, we're the couples, right? And y'all know that I've been seeing Dr. Francis, and he's been helping me along on my journey to like discover who I am. And so um, he told me that him and his wife, they've been married for, I think, like 30 years. They do a marriage retreat. They've been doing it for years. So I'm not sure if she's a counselor. However, they've been running this program together. Oh, okay. So it should be really good. I'm never going to say no to a trip anyway. Mm -hmm. When I think Dr. Francis, he's been helpful with us too. Maurice went and saw him, mm -hmm. and I ended up getting a honeymoon. Oh, so. Oh, oh baby, so, I need to go. <laughs> so you never know what might pop off See? from a little bit of counseling. I'm going to walk away with a honeymoon? Who knows? You like. oh, baby. Oh, okay, sign me up. Here we go. Lewis's hard shell is hard to get through sometimes, but Dr. Francis works magic, I heard. So if Dr. Francis can give me a baby and a honeymoon, then I think that Dr. Francis has it going on. So we got these husbands on board now. Yeah, that's gonna be more difficult. How about I'm gonna tell mine that you're signing him up and you're gonna tell her. So. I'm gonna tell Martha that Maurice is coming, <laughs> so that's gonna make it better. Thank you, ladies. Yay! Happy it was Yes. All right, so now let's go enjoy the pretty day. Wait, yes. Now off. we can go get some wine. <laughs> Somebody's gotta let me out of this thing. Oh, we you don't have to climb out of it. So, Mama, look, I'm trying to decide what I want to wear to host tomorrow. This is one thing I was thinking about. What you think? Okay, I like that. Like it gives a little bling to it. You know, it's gonna be outside and it's thin. Okay. Well, hold on, I got another option too if you don't like that because you don't look like you're too <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be chosen to co-host the grand opening weekend for the Orion Amphitheater right here in Huntsville. It is one of the newest buildings, $40 million facility. And so I'm super excited that out of all the people in the world, they chose me to co-host on this Soulful Sunday. Now this one is a little shorter. Are mm -hmm. those the only two that you have to choose from? No, I got one more. Well, I, or I can do a wardrobe change. There you go. I think that's a great idea. Oh, all But right. exciting. I am super excited. I think one thing that people have said about Huntsville is there's not enough to do. So to have this outdoor space where different artists can come in and have concerts and all of that, and it's for you fun. to host the first opening, that's awesome. Yeah, I know, right? It's called The First Waltz. They're gonna have uh, Trans Lee, Kelvin Wooten, he's from Huntsville, but he actually just won a Grammy. The Aeolians, which is with Oakwood University, one of the colleges here, Huntsville Drumline. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. Dog, it would have been cool if the kids were with you this weekend so they could be there too, but that's okay. Yeah, I know. We're just not in that space yet because of how 
I've been handled when it comes to my kids. So, well, you know, I, I definitely understand. I don't want it to be this way forever. Right. But until there is growth, until there is some maturity, and I mean real, not what looks good to social media, but real growth and maturity on that side, my boundaries are gonna stay in place. And don't let anyone push you into rushing it when you know it's still toxic. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep creating that safe, peaceful place for you and your babies. Yeah. Keep working sure. on your healing. And mm -hmm. he's gonna have to find some peace within himself. Right. Because for him to be so evil as he is right now, he has to be in a place where he's still struggling with what he has created. Yeah. And until yeah. he heals from that, yeah. he's going to be toxic. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Nellie's heart is just dark, dog. Is it really like that? Man? She's had many friends, but those many friends are no longer her friends because of who she is. People eventually see it. She invited us to go on a marriage conference <laughs> this week. Hey. Come on, babe. You the one that's gonna mess up the trip. Maybe Dr. Francis can help us get through some of our dilemmas. The action that happens in the bed. There's action happening in the bed. We're packing. Oh, I ain't talking See. about that type of action. Well, I haven't seen Big Lou since he left Atlanta early. So I'll be checking it just to see what's going on. I'm not sure what the family emergency was, but hopefully everything is okay. Nick Lou, what up, baby? Man, Martell, what's happening? Man, chilling, chilling. How you doing? Just taking a few swings, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's always good. Let's they say healing for the soul sometimes. Man, I need to be grabbing a bad ball. Well, not a little frustration. How you so, been doing, man? I mean, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Tired, man. I'm um, studying for this home builder's test. And How's it going? It's going pretty good. Really? Yeah, it's going pretty good, man. Trying to get these projects on the ground. That's about it. Hey, that's a good thing. Yeah, good man. Good problems to have? Yeah. I ain't even say it's a problem. <laughs> how, close you, how close you are to getting the home uh, builder's test done? I mean, I said I'm going to take it in about, about two weeks. OK. Yeah, I'm going to have to call on everybody, pr them prayer warriors. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey. I ain't built so many houses, but when it comes to this damn test, right, I'm like, right, right. You got that, I don't man. know if I get too anxious or, or what. So, but you know what? That anxiety goes back to kids, even in school, man. I was never a good tester, bro. Like, real yeah. talk. Yeah, testing ain't easy for everybody. I always just figured out ways to maneuver through and make sure that I was still right there at the That's end it. of the day. That's you it. Know what I'm That's saying? it. That's it. So, but now I got that pressure on me. But they do say uh, pressure creates diamonds, too, right? Oh, there, there we go. Hey, man, you want to uh, you wanna throw a little bit? Hey, we, we can. Let's do it, man. I got yeah. some gloves over here, man. Let's talk back and yeah, forth. We, we can talk. We can rap a little bit. Yeah, man. We had a good time in Atlanta, man. Hey, the A was pretty nice, man. I appreciate you for being there, too, man. It was one of those situations you hate to leave so early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But things happen. I mean, it was like a family member of yours, Tiffany? What? Yeah, it was family members of mine, oh, yeah. OK. Yeah, okay. my dad's side. I had a death in the family, so when I got the news, actually the night before, um, it was one of those things where, yeah, I just up and left. Um, yes, I wanted to be there for Martel, but I felt like we had come and did what needed to be done to support him, and I just needed to go transition to be with my family at that point. So, um, how's Tiffany doing? Tiffany's good. It's good to have somebody like, you know, Tiff on my side to be there to kind of support, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. coming back home to... I gotta get me a woman. Well, you know, I mean, you did, you did kind of take yourself out of the equation with the divorce. <laughs> I ain't laughing at that <laughs> ain't funny, goddamn. I'm I, just saying, man. I miss my marriage. Hey. I miss marriage. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Well, you know, I mean, that'll come back one day. Oh, man, what? Man, I'm ready to get married now. Two times around. There we go, yeah. yeah. So that, that's my focus, too, man. Um, You know, I'm ready to be back married, you know? You think so like that? I missed just the dynamic of being married. You know that quick? Dude, I loved it, man. So it was the family aspect, for real? 100%. OK. Yeah. There's right. going to be a lot of people that's going to be trying to come in, be there, be there with you, be there for you. Yeah. But is it the right person? Exactly. Make sure it's good for you and your kids. That's going to be the toughest part right there, man. That individual has a big, big factor on your kids, man, because they're spending yeah. just as much time with them. Hey, I said it's going to be so difficult because I have not one, not two, not three, not four, but I have five 
children, you know? You trying to get that Tom Brady feel with the rings, ain't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> As they say, be, be fruitful and multiply. Man, 100%. What's life, <laughs> for real. I mean, I know life is about working and success and all that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, right. it's about what you really gonna leave on this earth. I do miss the dynamics of marriage and, and family and things of that nature. And yes, I definitely want to be married again, um, rather sooner than later. But it's going to come with some challenges for me, considering that I do have five children. Um, there's someone out there for everybody. And I feel the person that I choose um, is going to be very fitting for myself and my children. When was the last time you spoke to Mel, man? She don't even want to be on the phone. She don't, like, right now, she ain't emailing, ain't texting. And we got four children. Damn, man. I got, a, I got a thousand emails trying to communicate with her about the kids, and she ain't responding to none of them. That's tough. Like, where's your mind at? That's like, gotta... I, I'm not trying to get you back. No. Nah. You know, I'm <clears throat> good. That's got to be addressed, man. It hurts my heart, man, for her to be this type of person. You know that's part of the reason why that's happening. Why is that? Because the kids are a factor to you. That's an easy way to get your attention and also to hurt you in different uh, attention forms. Attention for what? Because I'm not doing anything wrong toward I'm her. I'm just saying, bro. I'm not even, like, we don't even talk for it. I'm good with that. But let's, let's make sure that we co-parent effectively for our children. That's a very true statement, but I also understand that woman scorn statement is real as well. Man, Melly's heart is just dark, dog, because she's treated other people like that, and she's treating other people like that now that has really not, done nothing against her. So it goes beyond that moment. Oh, it goes beyond It's that. not even It's you, just it's her just... heart, man. You like, said that a couple times, man, man but I still... Is it really like that, man? Dude, I mean, you'll see it. it Everybody that's around will see. That's why she's had many friends, but those many friends are no longer her friends. Mm. It's not that Melody stopped being their friend. They stopped being her friend because of who she is. People eventually see it. You guys Damn. will eventually see that. And I, know, I, know I, I you... hate to say that because I love Mel, but just the person that she is, no, dog, no. Like I told you from the beginning, Stay true to yourself. 100%. You have to, man. Get, like, man. It, it, no, no it ain't matter easy. what. It ain't easy because a lot of stuff is going to be said, things are going to be done, and it makes you want to get out of character, but you got to stay in character even in them rough moments. Yeah. I'm working <clears> on that. <throat> My goal is really to meet up with Melody, man. It's like we got to come to some type of agreement. Right. I'm home. <laughs> I've always up, wanted babe? to say that. It's like uh, the good old fashioned all American family. Hey, how hey, you doing? What's this stuff? Well, Tisha invited us to go on a marriage conference <laughs> this week. Hey, it's just going to be us 1.0, 2.0, and the Whitlows. No. Come on, babe. Are you serious? I thought I got out of this stuff. How did you think you got out of what? Um, marriage counts, you know, counseling, conferences. Why would you think that you got out of them? It's like a recharge. But we're not, like, low on energy. Babe, I'm really kind of you surprised you're feeling away. I thought you would want to go. I thought that, like, when you had that meeting with Dr. Francis, you felt like you gleaned good information. And he fixed me, and I'm fixed he now. He said he fixed you, Jesus. Haven't you seen a change in me? Oh, my God. I saw a change in the effect that we were able to go on our honeymoon. Didn't you enjoy that? And I did, and I thank Dr. Francis for that. However, that little constant recharge, I, I think people need that. I'm surprised you're just being such a Debbie Downer. I don't like to take on people's problems, and this is what it sounds like. We're gonna be stuck in some cabin or something, I don't know, and all we're gonna have is a problem fest. Well, It'll probably end up that way if we can't change your disposition going in. I guarantee you this, without a doubt, when we go to this, it's not going to be all, you know, happy-go-lucky. It's going to be about problems. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. What I hope is that Dr. Francis, and he's like, you know, like, have a little her. Have a little what? Like a little her. Do you think there's anything that I could improve on? Sex every day. When we go to this, it's not going to be all, you know, happy-go-lucky. It's going to be about problems. Do you think that our relationship is good or bad right now? I think our relationship could have some counseling. So there is problem. You think that there's no room for improvement? I think that we're doing really good right now. 
If I talk to somebody at a marriage conference, maybe they'll give me something that'll help. Do you think there's anything that I could improve on? Do I think? Yes. Sex every day. I think every day is excessive. And there should be a middle. Why is and maybe excessive? a third person party would be able to say, Ree Scott, it's a little excessive. Your brother said it was excessive. And what's funny. He's not in my marriage. No, Weird. I understand. But what I'm saying is that it opens the door for conversation. Matter of fact, we were talking about that earlier uh, with Tiffany, you know, in regards to y'all smashing stuff and Lewis feeling the same way. I feel like men just never get enough. Maurice, I feel like if we had sex every single day, you still would want more sex. You know why I feel like that? Why? Because it happens now. We'll have sex at 6 o'clock, and you're pulling my pants down at 10 o'clock, and then get mad because I don't want to do it at 10 o'clock. It's never enough. What day goes by and you're like, you know what, I just don't want to eat today? You just want me to walk in the house and take off my clothes and get you some. That's a quickie. Sometimes they could be a little more planned out, but sometimes they could be a little more robotic. I don't know. You know, just get to the end. Stop this is it. what we could do, right, to make me more excited about this trip. Get me on the excitement board. Maybe we can do a commitment to at least two times a day while we're there. No, Maurice. That's not what we're committing I to. I could get really excited about that. I'll commit to a, every day. I'm not committing to twice a day yet. Two times. It's not going to be a selfish thing. I'm That's not only okay. thinking about That's me okay. on this trip. That's OK. I see your one, and I'm going to raise you one. I said no. I'm not Why doing Why are you going to say no? Because that's not what we're talking about, babe. You the one that's gonna mess up the trip. No, I'm not. Yeah, you talk about everybody else and everybody else's problems, and you the one with the bad attitude before we even leave. We just discussed our problem. And no, you just babe, said that you you're just created a problem. You just said that you're not willing to do something that could actually make babe, you happy. Because there's no middle for you. There's not enough. We talked earlier, literally five minutes ago, we talked about, wow, I want to have sex every day. That's what we said five minutes ago. So I sit here and I say, OK, while we're gone, let's do it every day. Nope, that's not enough, Kimmy. It's never enough. So now it's two times. So mm -hmm. now you got a bad attitude because I agreed to every day, but then not two times a day. It borders on the ridiculous, OK? Don't worry. It's all good. I'm going because uh, you want me to go. You just turned this whole thing into a whole negative Nancy. I'm Golly. actually negative Maurice. Mm -hmm. Feels great right now. It feels amazing. Can't be more excited to go. Okay. Well, I'm happy for you. Well, there we have it. Um, so I need you to finish packing. Yeah, I'll get to it later on. Appreciate it. All right. My wife is unwilling to do things that, you know, may or may not make our marriage better. There you have it. There you have it. I guess I gotta pack my own clothes. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It is Soulful Sunday at the new Orion We're gonna do like a couple trip with Kimmy and Reese. Me, you, Kimmy and Reese. Mm hmm. And Tiffany and Lewis. Blue. Yo. Which suitcase do you want? Uh. I didn't know if you wanted, you know, this one. No, I thought you usually pack less than me. What am I putting in here, a jacket? Like, we putting your makeup and stuff in that one and my clothes in there? Well, so you're going to use a bigger one? That would you want? Uh, yeah. I can fold my clothes really, really, really small, and you can have this one. Um, <laughs> so I have to leave the couple's retreat early, so, you know.
You got to leave early. I'm not. I'm going to cancel all the rest of the calls. I told everybody I need a few days off, but there are two that I cannot move, and I have to leave early. Is that two going to turn into four? No. I have to be in Birmingham because I actually have to speak at a women's leadership conference. Is there a reason that your business partner can't fill in for you? Because he's out of town. Oh, OK. That means that I'm staying longer or we're leaving together? Well, we can leave together. Because we that go just... together, we're supposed to leave together, right? OK. Maybe Dr. Francis can help us get through some of our uh, dilemmas, you know. You know, the action that happens in the bed and all those good things. There's action happening in the bed. We're packing I ain't talking about that type of action. To go have quality time together. Oh, uh, oh, so we're packing to go take care of that quality time. I didn't know that quality time had to be limited to a bed, but... You know what? And that quality time factor does mean a lot to me because we haven't, we haven't had a lot of quality time lately. Okay, I just want to make sure that counseling is good um, as long as it's really a two-way. You know, it's a two-way. It's it, it doesn't need to be a transaction. I think that sure, I if you say you need, I'm just saying, if you say you need more sex, and I say maybe you're addicted to sex, then maybe I say I need to mentally be stimulated, and I want my husband to love and caress me, and to be here present with me. And when I'm not present with you, to know, baby, I'm thinking about you. I'm meeting you halfway. What I hope is that Dr. Francis, maybe when he's having one-on-one -on -one time with you, then he's like, you know. Oh, don't you wanna, don't you love her so much you wanna like have a little her or something like that? Have a little what? Like a little her. Oh, having a baby. I mean, I like, um, I love being a boy mom. I mean, you definitely can't get a baby without sex, babe. That's why we definitely need time for that though, right? More so, you need time for that, right? Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have on positive faces. We're gonna be open, uh -huh. willing to yep. receive yep. the message. Yep, all that. Okay, I'm just making sure we're on the same page. Uh, I think we are. Hopefully it will be a good experience and we will have a great time and we'll continue to build relationships as we are there. Let's I like all the effort, hold though. each other accountable. I like the effort. I like the effort, the effort's good. Mm. Okay. If that is what you say, then that is what it is. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I think we're going to have a good time, and I don't think you should shoot it down before you even try it. Have you ever had fun with Tiffany and Lewis? Good, well, you know, yelling. A couple's trip without yelling and fighting doesn't really feel like a couple's trip at all. Did y'all see it outside? Did y'all see the air? We haven't been out there yet. The theater is huge. This opportunity. I know that the phones are gonna ring next week like crazy, so we definitely have to be ready. Baby girl. Hey. I'm the Ooh, what you doing? Get some PJs. For what? Put a little. We can get away back together. Oh, where are you going? Where we're going is the question. Going? We're going on a little quick little weekend getaway. Oh, where? Uh, do you want me to be, surprise you? Nope, not at all. No surprises? OK, so it's like a couple's. We're going to do like a couple trip with Kimmy and Reese. Me, you, Kimmy, Reese, cool. Mm -hmm. And Tiffany and Lewis. I'm not going to tell Marcel the whole plan about our couple's trip with Dr. Francis because I need to get him there with no problems. This is one of those cases where it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. We're going to a place that we always go. Where is that? Nashville. Oh, that's cool. That's not too... See, that's not too far. We can, we can go to Nashville. Ooh, they got a cigar lounge up there I'd like to go to. Does that involve being together as couples? Yeah, couples can smoke cigars. But this is my trip. Okay. So. There's a mall up there. No, we're not shopping. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go out. We can go out, hang out in this place called the weekend. No, we're not going to a club. Actually, well, I'm there. I can handle some business. So my no, 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 no. We're not doing any business. No, 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 no. Nope. Couples. We're doing all couple things. It's gonna just gonna be six of us hanging out, doing things together for two nights. I think it'll be pretty fun, babe. 
just like three couples getting together, experiencing marriage, friendships, and just getting to know each other a little bit better. Whose idea was this? Um, mine. What I have learned as a wife is that to get your husband to do some things, especially Marceau, you have to use what you got to get what you want. So we're, I'm going to get him here one way or the other. And sometimes I just have to, you know, tell a little bit of a lie just to get him there. Where are you getting this from? Like, why would... I, thought, I mean, I just think overall it would be a good idea. Like, I talked to Kimmy and Tiffany. Mm -hmm. They was like, yes, a couple's trip. So they was like, you know, the husband, they're going to be on board, so let's get together and let's, you know, do something with the couples. Yeah, I don't know why you thought the husband's going to be on board. I'm not really into the couples, anything. Anything? This isn't a wife swap swinger type thing, is it? I'm not into that. This is not that type of weekend. Thank God. Who are all going? The Scots. The Scots and the Whitlows. Yeah. No swaps there. I think we're going to have a good time, and I don't think you should shoot it down before you even try it. Like, why don't we just go with Kimmy and Reese? Because we always go places with just Kimmy and Reese. And we always have fun. So we're going to have fun. That makes, that is, have we ever had fun with Tiffany and Lewis? Actually, I did We've have never... kind of fun this with Lewis by himself. See? Yeah. And I had fun with Tiffany and Kimmy. Together. Maybe they're actually cool hidden beneath all of that judgment. <laughs> we went on this trip and Lewis didn't seem judgmental at all. He seemed open, like a regular guy, like Pinocchio got turned into a real boy. Maybe because you got them together. I didn't get them together. We I... just had a discussion. See, when guys have discussions, they uh, talk about it, and they visit all the issues, mm -hmm. so they don't have to revisit it. That's cool. You and Tiffany don't have any issues, right? No. Me and Lewis don't have any issues, so we have three people with no issues. See? This is going to be a different trip. It's going to be bring... fun. I think we should bring Martell and them. Just no, to, just he's spice, not married. Just to spice it up? No, we're good. We don't need that type of spice. We're know. good, we're good. We don't need no yelling. I don't know what a trip is like without yelling and fighting. Well, you're going to get a chance to experience it. Look at that. A couple's trip without yelling and fighting doesn't really feel like a couple's trip at all. <sighs> well, who knows what's going to happen on this trip. Right, right, that's fair, that's fair. We have a whole new cup in the mix. That's fair. So, never know. Maybe me and Risa get to fight. Well, we know that ain't gonna happen. It's gotta be a fight, babe. Babe, hey, there's no fight. So you you're down? I mean, I'll go. Yay! No, I think I'm, I'm, I think it's gonna be amazing, and I can't wait to go. Great. Okay, and I'll get the kids together. I already got that set up with the nanny. But you so need me to take good. care of the kids. I can take care of the kids. If you need me to. Sure, you can. I can get that if you need me to. Why are you just out here capping? I can. I can. Hey, 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 babe, you need to get the kids. I can get the kids. You need, nope. No, you got, you got it? Okay, well, okay. Well, you got it. I could have took care of it. You busy. You already know they're gonna be riding around talking about I got coins to make, not friends to make. Coins to make, not friends to make. Coins to make, not friends to make. Not friends to make. I'm so excited because today is the first show at the new Orion Amphitheater. So I am co-hosting with Dante Pride, who is a very well-known gospel artist here in the area. I'm hopeful that today will open many more doors for me to host some other concerts and maybe even have a Melody and Friends concert in the future. You were up so late last night and now early this morning. Is that from four or five in the morning? I know, y'all know I'm multitasking, answering Seventh Avenue skincare emails, cue cards, and hand hair being curled. I'm proud of you, Melis. Did y'all see it outside? Did y'all see the area? We haven't been out Ooh, there yet. That theater is huge. It's a beautiful, huge amphitheater. 
Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's about to be fun. The bands, I heard them rehearsing, like, sound check. Mm -hmm. It's about to be a nice time. So I'm excited. I don't know if I'm more excited about the amphitheater <laughs> or the opportunities of waiting for the phone. Wait for the phone. Because <laughs> yeah. one thing about Dawn Michelle, Mama, Dawn gonna close the deal, honey. One thing about my manager, Dawn Michelle, is she's always working on behalf of the Melody Cherie brand, okay? I am just so grateful that I have people in my life who genuinely care about me, have cared about me continuing to push forward despite everything I've been through. So I'm just happy to have all of these wonderful, genuine people here supporting me today. Dante Pride, look man. So without further ado, we finna get this thing started. So Let's ladies go. and gentlemen, Let's I want y'all to make some noise make for the Huntsville Drum I know this is important to Melody, and I wanted the kids to see in the spotlight, but we have not spoke for quite some time. Um, even when it comes to the children, we really haven't spoke, um, and then haven't been around each other. So this is like my first time in her space. We have to take steps forward, like, like I'm doing right now, to mend whatever we need to mend, so therefore we can be effective when it comes to co-parenting. Ooh, yes. Cool. Everything's still in place. All right. Here's I think it. I have like sit right here. You want me to sit right this here? This chair here is comfortable. So how many performers do you all have? Um, like four. OK. I think it's going to bring a lot of money into Huntsville. I do too. You know, right now Huntsville has actually um, been coined the largest city in the state now. They surpassed Birmingham. and the kids. Now, of course, I was super happy to see my babies, but I literally haven't been around Martell, talked to him really in a long time. Now, I hope he ain't coming in here with no negative energy because I need my vibrations to be super high today. I'm very shocked right now to see that he is here at the Orion Amphitheater. I had the brain to support you. Oh, I'm gonna say the whole show or until y'all get too hot. I don't know. We've already been too high. You've already been too high. You need some sunscreen. Can I take them to get something oh, to drink? Because we they oh. have a room with drinks and stuff. Oh, yeah, I water. I, I, I can give them water. Look at you, Leo. I've already seen some stuff. Yeah. You saw it, <laughs> Malia? Yeah. I saw somebody have fruit juice. Oh. And there was like some lemonade and juice. And then they had some lemonade and juice. Uh -huh. and then Come I on, Martel. You want some uh, water and fruit? Well, don't get it. Well, I got food in the room. They're passing that cold. Okay. Give them a little chance. Let's go get some fruit. Yeah, they some drink. It's hot oh, up there. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad they came. They told me they wanted to come. I said, y'all have to take your daddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I said, it had to be the hottest day. I said, but let's go. Because oh. they kept talking about this. So. Where's Sugar Mama? Sugar Mama. It's a little too hot for her out here. Sugar Mama would have been having a ball with them drums. Thank you for bringing them. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I have to bring them to um, support their mom on this big day. That's Making yeah. history. This is so. great for Huntsville. Right, 100%. This is the first act, right? Um, it's the opening weekend. So, congratulations on making history. Thank you. I know we got so much to lose. I know this ain't easy to do. Stop holding on for me. Stop getting lost for me.
have had conversations and I was under the impression that there actually was some disagreement. Confrontation. We're in unison about what's happening between us. To get rid of his fear to saying things that you won't like. Dr. Francis wasn't playing. For somebody to come and basically dissect me in six seconds and tell me my marriage is a game. You did it tomorrow, so. Let me ask you a question. How does it feel to be professionally diagnosed with faith? Your so, mother-in-law, your ex-mother-in-law, Ben. Ben, she took a picture of me from the scene mm -hmm. and posted on IG. That's good, isn't it? Your post you did with the teen wife shirt. And I just saw it as a marketing opportunity. So you weren't trying to be shady? Everybody else has been major shady. OK, well, leave it in the comment section, bitch. Myself, he posts a um, picture that it had Vanessa Scott. Kimmy is the one who screenshotted your post. I wonder why Kimmy did that. If I'm ever around her, I'm going to ask her. I feel that our communication has gotten a lot better. Have you heard about Wanda again speaking on our children, trying to question the paternity? Is Wanda safe here? Hey, girl. How are you? Wonderful. She walked in my store. I'm good. Next time you walk in somebody's establishment, you can Nobody speak. Nobody has time for moments. You came to my store we uninvited. You should have been escorted out like you did Tisha. Oh, Wanda's here? What's your problem? OK, sweetie. So, yeah, not, well, not let me sweetie. Tell you. I'm not your okay, sweetie. But... I'm stepping to you because you got a lot to say on mother social media, and I'm in your face today. Bam, your baby right here. Hey, 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 Whatever you want to do, I'll find your bitch. Come on. Come on.